Hi friends! Today we're going to talk about whose land are we on? Here in Wisconsin we have a lot of cultures that have been seeped in, a lot of traditional lands and a lot of different tribes from the past and the present. So we're going to break it down a little bit and study how it impacts food. So on native lands, I typed in Moston and we have Menominee and Ho-Chunk as tribes in this area. So let's talk a little bit about both of those, shall we? First up, we have Ho-Chunk. They have a governmental system of four branches and a traditional system with a chief and clan system. And they are still prevalent in this area. Then we have Menominee and they have a strong leadership and continue to speak their language and traditional religion and continue to pray and practice traditions from the land. Let's talk about heirloom vegetables. What is an heirloom vegetable? An heirloom is an old time variety, open pollinated instead of hybrid, seeds saved and handed down hundreds of years from way back in the day. And there are a lot of benefits to heirlooms. Let's talk a little bit about how we identify them. They are funky colors, different shapes, more flavorful. So we're going to do yes or no. Is it an heirloom? Or is it not an heirloom? And do a little test. So, remember the things that help us identify. This is a bean. Is it heirloom or not? Take a look at the color, the shape. Is it traditional or not so traditional? So, do you think this is an heirloom? Yes or no? Do you think this is an heirloom? Yes or no? Also a bean. Correct. The answer is yes, it's an heirloom because of the funky color. This is a tomato and it's fully ripe and still green. Is it an heirloom tomato? How about this? Is this an heirloom? Variety? Hmm. The last one, the green tomato, was an heirloom. And this one, is this one an heirloom? The red one was not. Now is this one? The answer is yes. And these are different heirloom squash families. So you can see the different kinds. Funky shapes, but they're more flavorful. Just like the tomatoes have different flavors. So take a minute and dream up an heirloom and draw it out. What would it look like? What would it taste like? When would it grow? So feel free to pause and do that activity as we move along to foraging. What is foraging? Foraging is the search for food out in nature, usually in the woods or forested area. And it was a huge way of life for different native populations to be connected to the land, to know what is edible and what is not is a huge thing. Because we have so much food growing out and around. It's great. Little red hair. You can also find wild leeks in the springtime. Let's see what those look like. There you go. 
And when you do this, make sure you are knowledgeable, do your research, or go with someone that knows. Mushrooms are another one we can find in the spring and in the summer. And in summer, this is chicory. All of these things that are around have different properties to eat or to use um, in health things. That's right, dandelion can be used and cattails. Who knew? Traditionally, even sumac later in the fall season can be used in teas, almost like a lemonade. Rose hips are used in cosmetics and in different tea blends. In winter, you can also find different barks and lichens are what they called, what they are called, um, that are edible as well, that you can use in different ways, you know, if you are so inclined. Thank you for following along. Have a lovely day.